episode 55. Five, five. Our true dark shadow natures were just called out, dude. And we had Matt, to delete Matt all the records. I had a chauvinistic, <laughs> toxic I had male. to black out the lines of the CIA document. We're here with our first lady guest. Hey there. <laughs> it feels so unnatural now. Cause Why? <laughs> No, it's we great. just we gave. A, I thought it was oh, funny yeah, to talk already... about how I refer to my girlfriend as my bitch all the time, and I just got weirdly squirrely. Yeah, and it went to like a five minute thing. Because you so feel guilt and shame for it. I but do. Anyway, I feel shame for it. I'm not. Exactly yeah, the just same repeat thing. it all over yeah, again. That, that's happened. Yeah. Um, but no, Rachel. Rachel is here. She's a comic in Philly. Rachel Fogletto. She's very funny. She's a feminist. She's a <laughs> woman. Feminist comedian. <laughs> She's a feminist lady that. Uh, I don't know. What else should I say? That's, I like that that's great. You're doing up. great. Yeah. Yeah. Good Matt's job. Matt's here. Perfect. Matt's a chauvinist sexist. No, I'm not. So this is a I'm fun. Not. This is a fun showdown. I love women. <laughs> Would you say <laughs> that's like the most like <laughs> like wolf in sheep's clothing? Like, I love women. I love women. <laughs> Nobody loves women more than me. <laughs> I love them. I love women. I know lots of women. Yeah. <laughs> so many women. Yeah. So no, we were uh, we we're talking Louis. Yeah. Talking a little Louis C.K. Yeah, I got basically, I got harangued by my entire extended family yeah. and friends about it. My sister texted me about it. And What'd I she was say? Like, basically the same thing you said. She was like, what's up with your boy? Damn. Because everybody, I So fucking... you guys got like personal messages about yes. Louis C.K.? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Damn. And it's like, well, that's because everybody knows I'm fucking, I was obsessed with him. Gotcha. I love, I love yeah. Louis C.K. Yeah, he's a good comic. And, uh, but the thing is, we all knew about this. Yeah. Like, we all knew about this, and it's, that's weird when shit like that happens. Well, I heard it, and I was like, no way. I fucking believed it. it, it yeah. I heard it from, like, six different people. I only heard the one account in Aspen at the uh, Colorado I've Comedy Festival. I heard a Festival. few. I heard so a what few. was the exact details of that? Wait. They came in. Which, that was the hotel room one. Where y- the, w- the first accusation or, like, the, the one that just one came out? Girls. I think the one that got the most traction the fastest. Well, oh, then are you talking about the most recent article though? Like the New yeah, York yeah, Times the one that one? had the five. Yeah, that had the five things. The oh, one, it was like a instances of him. Yeah, yeah. The, well, the one I remember seeing like a couple years ago it was like I can't remember if it was. It wasn't BuzzFeed. It was like some article. It was some source that wasn't enough to like. Yeah, con- yeah like, like confirm Post it. Or something it was, that was something. No, that, something that's discontinued yeah. now. Actually, Gawker. No. Maybe it was Gawker. I yeah. honestly like that. don't remember. That was the two girls who were the comedy duo. Yeah. He invited them back up. And the bar closed and he goes, well, just come up to my room. We'll get yeah. some drinks or whatever. And they thought he was being, uh, what's the word for it? Not collegiate, but whatever, professional. You yeah, know, just it, like it social. Like a, I mean, yeah. like the way you hang out. And then he said, and then he was like, can I jerk off in front yeah. of you? He said, can I take my dick out? And they were yeah. like, what? And then he just started fapping. Just Wait, yeah, didn't they say Yes. Well, they and just started, no. he said they started laughing. They just started laughing oh, okay. hysterical. They were kind of right. like it was a joke. Right. They're like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" And he was just like, "Woo, bam!" And like, I think it was in a sense that like, well, the first thing I read like years ago was like that he blocked the door, but it wasn't. Yeah, like, yeah, that's what I heard. But I don't think that was the. But account. either way, it's still kind of like if somebody's like jerking off, like blocking the door yeah. adds an element. If he was blocking, blocking the door, and, I, and, I was like, and cool. blocking the door is one thing, but blocking the door and jerking off is fucking intense. The, yeah, the jerking off is like <laughs> in a, itself because it's like to not expect to see somebody jerking off is like I mean, and that's only happened to me once by like a stranger. So yeah. that's already like yeah. what the hell? Yeah. I'm, right. I'm allowed to curse, right? Yeah, I was absolutely. Just like, what the fuck? But like just said. Bitch about yeah, I know. I couldn't remember. Like, I know if like. Well, it's happened to me on chat yeah. roulette about fifty oh. times. That <laughs> well, was every yeah. time. Well, it was just. It was just I Louis mean, the know. internet's like a whole other thing. But like when it's live in person, it's such a thing. So I can't imagine it's like you. You spent the whole night. I can only imagine like you spent the whole night. You what they open forum or something something like that They're and it's the like same thing. somebody you look up to and you're like hanging out it's like oh cool like uh, like the <laughs> bar's closed like it's cool we're hanging out with louis ck and then all of a sudden he's like can i take my dick out like i would probably be uh, like what like i'd probably laugh too just because i would be like yeah. what like that, yeah, that makes sense catches you off guard especially like when you've gained this amount of trust so you're even more like oh fuck yeah. now i'm in this hotel room and, and louis ck's like, jerking off and then yeah. that was the thing too they stayed for its entirety he said he finished on his stomach. That's that's how I yeah. busted. That's how I figured out the blocking the door myth. It's like no way a forty or fifty year old man was standing and ejaculated onto his stomach, onto his belly. I did the, I did the myth busters on that one. I did like the visca- like the velocity. Yeah, I was fucking like fucking yarn. Oh, yeah. what, the, it you couldn't get down. on. Like the there's stomach? no way he was standing in front of a door and jerked off up and onto his stomach. He's fifty years old. 
I mean, I doubt shit. he's shooting like that. I've seen cum go all kinds of places. Oh my gosh! I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, from a fifty-year-old though, that's my thing. I've never. Stood, I've, I've, gone, I've never stood in. I've gone pretty old. I've gone late forties. I think it's okay. probably the oldest. Time. And, they're, and they're a guy still, stood and fucking. Well, I don't, I'm just saying. Like, I know good, that the velocity of cum, like, is. I mean, you guys just keep producing sperm till you die. But, it, so. but the the. The punch maybe lessens he, with age. Uh, maybe he bent his dick the way Bugs Bunny bends <laughs> wait, that hunter's rifle. gun. <laughs> well, that uh, was, wait, so what, wait. The only reason that you're bringing that up is because you said that he couldn't have been like standing well, by. That, that was what I heard. He blocked the door. So I, I looked yeah. around trying well, to find out if that was true or not. They, no, but there was a, there was a thing going around that he blocked the door. But I think that stemmed yeah. from. You know what I think that stemmed from? Actually, he apologized. He called someone or Facebook messaged someone to apologize. And was like, sorry that I pulled you into a pulled bathroom you into a something. bathroom. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. And then she was like, yeah, yeah, that's not me. Exactly. And he was like, yeah. I used to read people wrong, and it's like, oh, dude. Yeah, Louis. Uh, wow. He's got some fucking issues. Yeah. But even There's back no... to the thing about the jerking off and the how, like, somebody just posted a thing about like, because people said like, why didn't you just like leave? And it was like instead of like fight or flight, I think. Yeah, I read she that. was like the um, appease, appease and, and please, or which is like totally please, yeah. true because if you're like all of a sudden like, oh shit, I thought this was one way, but yeah. now it's another. And I don't really know where I am. And if I leave, is he going to get pissed off? Because yeah. one, I didn't expect him to take off his clothes and jerk off, you know, so what else could he do that I don't expect him to do? So let's just like yeah, ride honestly, this out and see. Honestly, if, you know? if I was with Louis C.K. and he started jerking off, I'd probably say, I would be like, all right, man, whatever you got to do, I just kind of want to talk to you about some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I probably wouldn't have left the room. If he was like, can I jerk off in front of you? I'd be like, fuck. Yes. Yeah, fine. I totally would have let him. So a guy shows. I mean, that's, that's <laughs> fine. I, I, just, I said, I thought about that too. I'm like. They could have just turned around and left, and I'm like... You see, Matt looks, at, Matt looks at like sexual assault like this through a very male-centric point of view, where he's just like... I thought I might, that was I might fucking night, hang out. Nice no, that, was my, uh, that was my first thought. Was like, my first thought was like, why didn't they just leave? I'm like, they could have well, just and been that's, like, well, that's And I'm actually did. glad, but I'm glad that you said that, because that's a lot... Like That's like yeah. almost everybody's first thought, because one, it's... And I, and I want to go back to like... You know what you said is like I really admire him, so I would just be like, oh, maybe okay. I would, I definitely would have hemmed and hauled for a while. Been like, are you really gonna jerk off right now, man? Come on. I mean, I've been in rooms where my friends jerked off, and <laughs> I didn't even respect them. <laughs> but you stayed. <laughs> yeah, I stuck around. <laughs> but that's the thing is, that's you. A joke. I'm fucking... Oh no, I mean, I mean that's I... not a joke. That's real. <laughs> that's obviously it doesn't relate. But no, that was my first thought was like they could have took off. I mean, I just really, I really like Louis C.K. So in my head, I'm naturally being like. No. So even no. in the instance where you would say like, oh, I would say, I'd be like, oh man, okay, but I'll stay. But so it's like, even in that instance, it's kind of the, it's not the same because obviously you wouldn't feel like you were in an amount of danger probably that Mm-mm. those women felt. That would have been awkward. I would have been but like, come on, man, stop. In, in a sense, he's still using his authority to put you in a situation that you don't want to be in as a sexual situation because True. he know it's like, you know who you are, you know, people admire you. So you're like, oh, like they're going to deal with it because I'm Louis C.K. So I'm just going to yeah. take my dick so, out. Fuck. So this is the only thing I... So all they did was consent to going into his room. Mm-hmm. I could right. have sworn I heard they said yes when he said, can I take my dick out? No. I thought they said they yes, said they... but we thought he was kidding. Uh... I think... I feel like it was something like they were like, what the hell? Like, what? Like, that kind of thing. Yeah, that would that would change it quite a bit. I mean... Regardless the way it was worded, was it clearly they were it, it wasn't like they were like, Yeah, take your dick out. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like they weren't like, Oh, cool, like we're gonna fuck around with Louie. Yeah. Whereas if that were the case, it would be like, Okay, cool, but What were the other yeah. ones? The one the phone call one There was a phone call or he was phone. she said he was definitely jerking off. She said she phone. could hear him close the blinds. There was, oh, somebody... there was one in the office. Yeah, there was another one where he had yeah. like a young lady in his office that he would repeatedly, she would, she would just, she just was like, yeah, fine, I'll do it. And then he just jerked off in front of her like a bunch of times. And apparently, I, I heard this through word of mouth, but someone told me that he used to jerk off with uh, Sarah Silverman's younger sister, like constantly. I just saw something about that, but I did not get a chance to read yeah. it. And she was just yeah. like, yeah, it was weird. She used to, from what I heard, she would sit outside his hotel door and just like sit, he'd be like, just stand by the door and I'm going to jerk off in my room. And she's like, I would just do it all the time for him. And she's like, you know, I was at the time like, whatever. But she's like, it's definitely kind of weird. Mm-hmm. So it was like that. There's apparently his apology for shoving someone into a bathroom, which that's that's a that fucking, is yeah, scary. scary and that's, that's, that you can't even remember who it was is yeah, even more scary. It's like, fuck. Yeah. So that's the one where it, it's like, 
Like they all, they, they all and if it was the isolated Colorado incident, where I'd be like, "Damn, dude, that was weird." But it's like then you have like five more. Then like, "Yeah, sorry, I shoved you in a bathroom." She's like, "No, that wasn't me." And he's like, "Oh, sorry." Well, it's a slow build. I mean. And you were just like, ah, but if I like, Louis fuck Anderson with this told person. me right before I went on stage that he jerked off to me. <laughs> yeah, that's was true. he like in his hotel room? Was was he like what context? I'm just curious. Uh, we didn't like, really talk the entire weekend until that point. He just <laughs> literally said he that. Like, I want you to know I jerked off to you in my hotel room last night. That's fucking weird. It was. Yeah, I might have odd. to fucking gawker that motherfucker. You should. You should go out there. Although Hulk Hogan destroyed gawker. Oh, that's true. With his, with his stinky <laughs> legs, didn't say the N word in obsessed tape. Um, How about Gibson? Uh, my whole thing is like, do you think Louis going to come back? Yeah, Louis will definitely come back. You think so? Yes. I mean, either way, he'll be okay. That's yeah, the thing. Like, yeah, nothing yeah, bad totally is going to happen. Well, he, well besides reading the newspaper and the whole world being, there's the guy that jerks off yeah, in front of girls. Yeah, there's fucking pervert. So I mean, he did get destroyed. Yeah, but like Gibson is in movies now. Mel's back. Right, he's a terrible person. Like N words on tapes now are just like now it's kind of like well that's that's all you did so now with like did. oh yeah he did get the N word yeah he had he that, hit he him had with the, a pack of yep. N words yeah exactly Mel went in it wasn't just like Jews in Hollywood he like someone said that he's like oh he's oh, like yeah, a conspiracy Matt's anti-Semitic Rachel no, I'm not. aren't you Jewish no, I'm not I'm not anti-Semitic everyone thinks I am but I'm no, oh, yeah, you're oh wow what yeah who's the anti-Semite that? Now? how would that be anti-Semitic he's trying to classify people by race. But it really sucked, and I know a lot of women felt this way too, is because Louis seemed like a pretty woke dude. Yeah. And then, you know, to have like the whole wolf in sheep's clothing was a big letdown. Oh, so, you know what would really suck is if he does come back and now he's not allowed to say the N word anymore. Like, yeah. I don't think that would be like his main <laughs> punishment for big, jerking off in front of women. Problem like, problem for me. You know, like you sexually assaulted these women, so please, Look, like, you just can't say the N word anymore. These types of <laughs> events affect people differently. <laughs> this is my perspective. That would, that's how it would affect me. Don't I wonder, tell me if that's right, wrong. That is, and we're back. We're back with the Marxist feminist Rachel Fagletto. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, what I what I wanted to talk about was, and it, it doesn't have anything to do with the Metzger. Well, it has something to do with it, but just the when people are like, you believe women every time. Like people are like, you should do that. Well, for it me, what it is crazy. is like, is that if you look at how often people only believe women, like when women say this thing that's happening is fucked up, um, people rarely believe it when it's just women saying what their experience was, it usually takes like at least some men and men of power to support them before people are like, so like if a girl falsely accuses a guy of rape, guys can go to jail for that. And if it's just mm -hmm. one girl's statement, right? Sure. But the instances of that, I don't think anybody's saying always believe women every single time. I think what we're saying is that more often than not, people don't believe or trust women's experiences. And it takes men to support us before other men listen almost every single time. So that's hmm. what's happening right now is almost every single time when women say this thing happened, it was kind of fucked up. Uh, men usually brush it off unless it's like, 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 especially if it's somebody within a circle um, that's like high in power or like somebody that people are close with, they're just like, eh, they'll write, they'll justify it 